And the imagery that I want to share with you is one that will help you understand the larger concept of Surah Al-Asr. Imagine with me that you are drowning, that you're drowning, and you are unconscious, two things. You're drowning and you're unconscious. Do you have a lot of time? If you're drowning and you're unconscious, do you have a lot of time? No, you don't have a lot of time. Which means there, your time is running out. And you know in Arabic, what word is used for when time is running out? The, time, the word for that is al-asr. An asr literally means time that is running out. It's the last part of the day when the day is running out. It's time of asr prayer. Okay, Asr literally comes from asir, juice that is squeezed out. Time that's being squeezed out of your hands. You know, asr al even it's used. That you know, you take a cloth that is drenched in water, and when you squish it like this, all the water comes out. Asr as a verb is used like that. Right? To squeeze it out. So Allah talks about this time. Your time you're drowning, you're you're unconscious, your time is running out. What's the first thing you need to do to be able to survive if you're in that position? What if you hope to survive, what's the first thing you're gonna need? What do you think? Wake up. That's the first thing you're gonna need. If you keep you're unconscious, then you're finished. The very first condition that has to be you have to wake up. And even if you were in the most wonderful dream, and in your dream you were enjoying the greatest success, you're driving, you're driving a Ferrari down, you know, this, you know, they have these car commercials with the hills and the highways on the side, the water on the other side, right? You're in one of those cars, the, top, top, drop is, the, the top's been dropped off, and you're just cruising along the highway, enjoying life, that's your dream. But when you wake up, what do you realize? You're drowning. You're underwater. That's the first condition, you have to wake up. Once you do wake up, you say, oh man, this is a nasty reality, and I was enjoying such a good dream, I should go back to sleep. If you do that, what kind of person would you be? Insane. You'd be insane. Or someone at least who has no courage to accept reality. Because they found reality to be very difficult, they decided they're gonna put themselves back to sleep, even though they woke up. Does this person, if he drowned, can he blame anybody else? The one who woke up and went back to sleep? You think? Someone who never woke up, maybe, right? But the one who woke up said, mm, this is not good. And they went back to sleep. They have no one to blame but who? Themselves. They have no one to blame but themselves. Now, let's imagine that they did wake up. What do you have to do next? Oh, it's pretty bad, I'm drowning. Even if you don't know how to swim, will you not use every muscle in your body to make certain kinds of motions to go towards the surface? Wouldn't you do that? And you will make certain kinds of motions that make you go further down, and certain kinds of motions that will make you go up. And once you discover which ones help you go up, you will only do those, right? You will do those. In other words, the first thing was you have to wake up, the second was you have to swim. You have to do something to try to get to the surface. When you got to the surface, you gasped for air, and you got pulled back down. You got pulled back down. And you know what you, who you got pulled back down? You won't believe this. There's a chain around your foot, and your relative, your cousin, is sleeping. And he dragged you down. And now you're drowning because of your sleeping cousin. What do you have to do now? You gotta wake him up. And you're not even waking him up because you wanna save him. Who are you waking him up for? You're, maybe you wanna save him, maybe. Maybe you don't even like your cousin, I don't know. <laughs> right? But what's the point? The point is, you're trying to wake him up because if you don't wake him up, who's also gonna drown? Yourself. So you wake him up, and he says, man, I was driving a Ferrari, you woke me 